Today I'm really excited to introduce the CERN CMS project, who are physicists working on the frontiers of particle physics. I'm 100 uh, meters underground, 300 feet underground, so 30 stories, with the detector. Basically this is a room just full of screens and people who are monitoring the detector as it runs. So the beam comes in from where the green is toward the yellow and then into the detector. The detector is about 60, 70 feet long and about 50 feet tall. How does the uh, LHC affect the power grid? In one way, we, we save a lot of power by having magnets that are superconducting. To keep it superconducting, you have to keep it very cold. So you have to actually run a lot of refrigeration. So we're the biggest cryogenic plant in the world, the biggest freezer, if you like, in the world. So why do you do it underground? Why can't you just do it on the sub? Ah, that's a good question. The accelerator is amazing because this is a machine, you have to remember, that's 26 kilometers a run. And yet it focuses beams smaller than a human hair. So imagine the, the precision that this machine has to have. Well, you better build this thing in good rough, in a very solid area. When you were approached with rumors about creating black holes, how did you respond to that? Well, I think the, the probability of creating this black hole in our particular collisions are, is extremely small, smaller than even the uh, probability of creating one from cosmic ray particles. In fact, we're hoping to make them, okay? <laughs> but we're looking for safe black holes, the ones that immediately decay and, 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 and explode into interesting particles. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank, Thank you. you so much for hosting. Yeah, it was great. Thank you for your questions. They were excellent. They were excellent. Very good question.